Hello and welcome to this automotive visualization with Modo 501 training. In this training we'll be using a model um, that was built in an another application. We'll bring this model into Modo and we'll be rigging this model so we can control it and the steering wheel for example and if we want to move it these uh, these wheels will be rotated accordingly and probably you can follow pretty much everything uh, inside Modo f uh, 401 uh, the only thing that you'll be using from Mo Modo 501 is the schematic view that we'll be using to rig this model so after this model uh, being important imported into Modo, we'll be producing a studio environment, a typical studio environment, and we'll be setting up this as simple as we can, and is really fast to set up this environment inside Modo. We'll be uh, producing a clay shader and save it as a preset for uh, later use in other scenes. So we will be um, producing this specific view. Later on we'll be um, creating a glass material so we can show the interior of the car and the geometry that was occluded by this geometry here. And later on we'll be render several uh, render outputs so we can inside After Effects compose them together so we can produce this image s s in a sort of you can use all these steps to produce these kind of renders these uh, wireframe renders so you can use in inside your portfolio and I really hope that um, these images can bring you some work out of it and I hope r really hope that it it can you know enrich your portfolio later on we'll be making a slightly uh, change to our environment and we'll be producing all these shaders that you can see here and of course now we are uh, producing a photorealistic image uh, of this model of course we'll be discussing several types of reflectors and the position of these reflectors so we can uh, produce these highlights to enhance your model shape and later on we'll be using the HDR image plus backplates provided to us by HDRI locations by the way this model is from evermotion.org and we'll be using this packet of images to illuminate the scene and to achieve these realistic reflections so this model uh, looks like it's really integrated into the backplate so uh, I really hope that you'll be enjoying this training and um, see you there